Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm combining my passion for decorating brunch, buffets, dessert tables, along with Dollar Tree and DIY projects, and I'm bringing you a farmhouse inspired breakfast buffet. Also a bunch of kitchen and dining styled um, farmhouse DIY projects that you can use around your home as well. I actually asked you guys in a poll on my channel last month if you would rather see a farmhouse style or a bohemian style table and you guys picked farmhouse so that's what we're doing. Although I will mention last I checked there was only like a one or two percent difference. It was actually almost a tie. Since it was so close I will do the bohemian style one. It's just going to be coming up up a little bit later so anyway stay tuned for that if you're not already don't forget to click that red subscribe button and also the little bell so you will be notified whenever I upload something new and with that being said let's jump into it for the first DIY I'm using an 8x10 picture frame from Dollar Tree I decided to paint mine white and then brush a little bit of dark brown wood stain or chalk paint whatever you have but this will give it a little bit of an aged wood effect and a more antique look Go ahead and set that aside to dry and now you'll need something to write on the glass with. So I'm using the same oil-based glass writer sharpies that I used in my last video and again I'll have the link for them in the description box down below. These are the medium, um, medium tip. There is a small fine point tip, a medium tip, and a large tip so get the one that works for you. I was trying to think what I wanted this sign to say and since I wanted it for my coffee bar, I ended up doing farm fresh coffee served daily. You could also do fresh hot coffee served daily or coffee and tea served daily or if you bake a lot, maybe farm fresh pies served daily or fresh baked cookies, whatever you like. If you like the one I created to use for today, I will have the PDF printout available on my blog for free. So the link for that will be in the description box down below. So that way, if you're like, Rebecca, how am I gonna do this? I don't have the time to put all this together and print it out. This will be really easy for you. You can just go there and click on that and just print it out for free and put this under your glass. It'll be the size you need for the eight by 10 frame. Place it under the glass and you can create your own beautiful sign for literally like a dollar plus the cost of paints um, and the markers but I already had enough of everything else on hand and you'll certainly have plenty of paint left over for future projects anyway. I also didn't want these little metal tabs sticking up and showing in front of the glass so I actually just folded them back over the frame and then used some hot glue along the edge of the glass in order to seal it into the frame. Now for placemats or pot holders, I used hot glue and nautical rope. Just start by getting it tightly curled here and glued together to start so it's very close and then just keep going around and around that circle with the hot glue and the rope until your circle is getting to be the size that you want. Now if you want something extra sturdy, you could also cut out a circle from like one of the foam placemats that Dollar Tree carries to use as backing for this or you could even attach your rope onto like a pizza pan or something for a wider, sturdier placemat charger plate style mat here. Although a smaller version would also make a really cute pot holder for your tea kettle or something like that as well. By the way, I got this nautical rope on Amazon. I will leave the link for it down below in case you have trouble finding enough in Dollar Tree. I called six stores before filming this project and none of them had nautical rope at the moment. So here's an alternative. If your store is out or if you just can't get out to the store, I will mention that this rope is a little bit narrower than the nautical rope that Dollar Tree carries but I'll leave the link down below for the one that I used and I did buy the larger size package and the pricing on that worked out to actually be really comparable to the pricing that you would get in Dollar Tree. It ended up actually being quite convenient and especially since I couldn't find it in any of the Dollar Tree stores, this way I could get plenty of nautical rope to complete the rest of my projects. 
Alternatively, I found these beautiful placemats in Hobby Lobby recently, and they would also work beautifully with your spring or farmhouse dining and brunch setup. I ended up using both styles for my table, and I love the combination of textures. I ended up using this one on the tray under my coffee cups and creamer, and then over here I have my utensils. So let me show you two ways to do them. So one option is just using the burlap ribbon that Dollar Tree carries. Just lay out your flatware pieces so you know how much room you need, and then fold the ribbon up in front to the height you want it to be to make like a little bit of a pocket here to put your flatware in, plus a little bit extra. Cut that and then use some hot glue to fold over and neaten up the ends so it'll be nice and neat. And this way you'll have a little bit of a pocket to slide your fork, knife, spoon down into and use just a little bit of hot glue along the edges right along the seam to close up your pocket and hold your utensils. Alternatively, you could do something similar with the burlap ribbon that has the lace down the front that Dollar Tree also carries. I really love the look of this one. I think it's probably my favorite and I think it would be so gorgeous for a wedding or bridal shower especially. The trick here is a double fold. So start by laying the ribbon like this with your utensils on it and then go ahead and fold the ribbon back up to make the pocket the height that you want but you don't want the back of the ribbon showing. So now fold it back down over the front, again, cutting a little extra room so that you can fold the edges over and seal them with a little bit of hot glue. And then just attach the sides like we did before. I think this looks so beautiful. And it even looks nice with a combination of the two styles. But if you prefer napkin rings instead, one option would be to use the six pack of napkin rings that Dollar Tree carries along with the faux wood contact paper you can get there as well. And the napkin ring actually lines up perfectly between the lines here on the back of the contact paper. So just cut that out right along the lines, cut enough to cover your napkin ring. You'll still see the silver edges, but I think it actually looks pretty cool like that. It just gives it like a little bit of a metal edge and it almost looks more complete that way to me anyway although if you did want to cut your contact paper a little bit wider and tuck it around inside so that you don't actually see the metal you could certainly do that as well if you want the inside to also look like wood this is totally optional and customizable so of course just do whatever looks good to you Alternatively, you can take four or eight of the Tumbling Tower Jenga blocks and either line up four to build a square napkin ring like this or do two sets, but I have the wood pieces alternate places like you see I'm doing here. And then once that's all attached with the hot glue, you can paint them if you like. I liked the lighter color with darker streaks on it to add a little bit of like a distressed aged look to the wood, but it's totally optional and customizable. So of course do whatever looks good to you. could even get one of the um, pastel colored chalk paints if you want this in like a robin's egg blue or something like that you could also paint the wood a color to go with your decor or your theme back to the table now I have a farm country breakfast of oatmeal fresh muffins peach pie poached eggs Canadian bacon and sausage also, these glass jars are from Dollar Tree, and you could use some twine to hang a little paper label for fresh milk on here. That would be so cute as well. I actually have almond milk in here, and I'm using one of these galvanized planters from Dollar Tree with ice in it, just to make kind of like an ice bucket to keep the milk cold. By the way, if you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at StyleMySweets if you're interested in getting a sneak peek behind the scenes look of what's going on over here before I actually post videos. I do like to share things that I'm working on and extra tips and stuff over there on Instagram. And one of you requested a lemons and limes themed table recently, so I decided to actually pull that into this farmhouse breakfast buffet table. So using one of these Dollar Tree baskets, I filled it with lemon 
lemons and limes, along with some fresh sliced fruits and greenery for decor over here on the table. I also incorporated this towel from Dollar Tree just to fill in the table with a little extra color. This one is technically pears, not lemons, but the colors are still perfect and all go so well together. And over here, I chose these artificial hydrangeas in the center of the table, green candles and delicious golden yellow apples, all to complement the yellow and green citrus colors that we were using as well. This towel also works well with the color theme. I already had it on hand and it was the perfect touch to line my Dollar Tree basket here to fill with muffins. I also use fresh kale leaves as a garnish under my poached eggs for breakfast. And then if you're doing this at home, you can save the kale to enjoy later so nothing goes to waste. I also wanted to mention this farmhouse style table runner I got on Amazon. It's so pretty. I normally have it on my dining room table, but for today I'm using it here on the buffet. Also, I'm loving this acacia wood cutting board, which I've decided to keep as a serving board for fruits, meats, cheeses, Mediterranean platters, and for today, just as a beautiful rustic piece to style my oats and honey breakfast arrangement on. I have bowls, I have a glass jar of honey with a metal scooper. I thought that also fit really well with the farmhouse breakfast. And I wanted a honey jar that had like a honey stick for dipping and serving, but I also wanted something that closed. So I was looking on Amazon and I just wasn't 100% happy with anything that I was finding until I came across this solution. I decided to go with this glass jar that seals from Dollar Tree and it looks so pretty even sitting out in my coffee and tea station area in the kitchen. I ordered this olive wood honey dipper which makes adding honey to your oatmeal, cereal, coffee, tea, whatever so easy and it's also very easy to clean afterward. Basically, this setup cost half the price of the honey jars that I was looking at online and at least now I know I can seal the honey so there won't be any like dust or attracting ants or anything like that to it, but when I'm serving it, it also looks so beautiful. And I did add orange juice to the table over here as well. I wanted to show you guys actually an optional farmhouse style little DIY with the coasters that I got from Dollar Tree. I just traced the top of the coaster on the back of the wood print contact paper that Dollar Tree carries and applied that. This looks pretty cute as it is, like a little wooden coaster or something, although if you prefer, you could always take a little nautical rope and hot glue that around the edge to complete the look. I told you guys in my last video I ran out of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree, so this is actually one that I got on Amazon. As always, I will try to leave the links for everything I can down below in the description box if you're trying to find any of these things. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. And leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY or what was your favorite part of this farmhouse breakfast. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.